Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to calculate the phonon at gamma point using VASP. And in principle, you can use the same procedure to calculate the vibrational modes of the molecules using VASP. The sample system that we are going to calculate today is silicon crystal in a normal diamond structure. And the first step is to relax the cell, as usual for the calculation of the crystals. And the second step is actually to calculate the phonon at gamma point. So basically you let the program move the atoms in different degrees of freedom by a finite difference set in the in-car, and then it can calculate the force matrix. The second option is to use density functional perturbation theory method, DFPT, and for that you don't need to uh, specify a step size. Okay, so let's take a look at the input files. Firstly, we want to do the relaxation calculation. And as usual, we have four input files, in-car, k-points, post-car, and port-car. For the in-car, so I star equals zero, I charge equals two, means that we don't start from the previous wave function nor charge distribution. And then the precision is normal and EN max is 250. For this one, I have already told you before, you should find it in the port car here. It should be chosen such that it is one to 1.3 times EN max here. Yeah? And then this is the smearing method that is Gaussian smearing and with a small sigma. Those are the relaxation of the ions. I brain equals two means that we use the CG algorithm, which is usually the one that we use. And ISIF equals three means that we want to relax both the cell and the atoms. NSW equals 50, we do maximum 50 ionic steps. But if the force is below the force threshold specified here, it will stop before 50. The negative sign here means that we are talking about force criteria. If it is positive, then it's the energy. Usually we use the force. Okay. And then for the K point, it is automatic mesh. Gamma means that it is a gamma centered K point. And this is important. We have six by six by six K points. Yeah, that's it. And then for the port car, we use the port car from the PBE set that is basically here. Yeah, here. And then we take a look at the postcard, which encodes the positions. So this is the scaling factor, and here it is the lattice constant of silicon. And this is the lattice vector for a FCC lattice. And we have two atoms in a unit cell. Direct means that it is in a fractional coordinate. So one silicon is at 0, 0, 0, another one at 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25. And this is because for a silicon crystal, it is basically two FCC lattice shifted by 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25. Okay. And then let's run the calculation. So we go to the folder and run the code. Okay, it is done. It should be quite fast. Among all of the output files, the one that is very important is count car. So count car encodes the relaxed structure, the final positions. So what we do is that we copy count car, and then we go to the second step and change the name to post car. Yeah? So we use the relaxed structure as the positions for the second step. And then we also copy this post car to the second option of step two. Okay. Now we want to calculate the phonon at the gamma point. There are two options. We first go to the finite difference option. The port card is the same. The post card is the count card that we get from the first step. And k point, we keep it the same. But of course, if you want to calculate more precisely, you can increase the k point density here. Yeah? For example, 10 by 10 by 10. And then in the in card, we have to change something. We start from scratch, and those are the same, except that here we set i brain equals 6. For the final difference, you can choose i brain equals 5 or i brain equals 6. And usually 6 is much faster because 6 considers the symmetry and it only calculates the matrix that is irreducible with respect to symmetry. Yeah? And then it fills the other parts of the matrix according to the symmetry. But of course, you can also use 5, n3 equals 4. You can actually choose n3 equals 2 or n3 equals 4. And then POTIM is the step size. As I said before, the final difference method is that you displace the atoms by this step size and then calculate the force matrix. Yeah? For this, it is set as the default, which usually works well, so you can also ignore this line here. Yeah? Okay. And then we can just run the calculation. Let's go to the second folder and then use the same line of code here. And you see that this is finished. To get actually the frequency, you can go to the out car. So nearly the bottom, there is this 
chart here and you see that there are six eigen modes and this is as expected because there are two atoms in one unit cell and one atom has three degree of freedom so in the end you will expect to see six modes so the first three modes share the same frequency of 15.136 terahertz that is actually the optical phonon of silicon and the later three modes share the same frequency that is around zero which is the acoustic phonon that has zero frequency at the gamma point. Okay, so we just copy the frequency here. Okay, and then we can try the second option, which is here. And everything else is the same, except that we have to change the in car. We set the iBrain equals 8. So for DFPT, you either set iBrain equals 7 or iBrain equals 8. So 8 means with symmetry, and the calculation would be simpler, and 7 is without symmetry. Okay, and then we can try the calculation, to go to the folder, and run the code here. Okay, so it's finished. We can go to the out car again. So you see that we also have 6 modes, 3 of them around 15 terahertz, that is the optical branch, and uh, 3 of them around 0, which is the acoustic branch which is consistent with what we got in the finite displacement method. And we just copy it here and zero terahertz, yeah? So they are comparable. Okay, so in this video, I've shown you how to calculate the phonon at the gamma point. And you can basically use the same thing to calculate the vibrational modes of molecules, which I will show you in the later videos. And probably you will ask how to calculate the phonon density of state or phonon dispersion Unfortunately, VASP does not offer that intrinsically, so you have to use some other programs to do that, which I will show you in the next video. So if you learned something from my video, I really appreciate your like or subscribe to my channel, and I hope to see you next time.